Glenn Clark with Stevenson coach Gary Stewart after a thrilling 74-71 win for the Mustangs over Lebanon Valley. Coach, the win itself was great, but the heart that your kids showed tonight after they fell behind a couple of times to keep coming up with big shots, they were dudes banking in half-court buzzer beaters, and your team still stuck in there and came up with big shot after big shot. How much does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I, I thought our kids showed uh, great resilience and and um, as you mentioned, I thought we fought really, really hard. We got down in the second half and, and um, kept climbing the mountain and climbing the mountain. And uh, we got a couple good uh, possessions at the end and, and some critical baskets and free throws. And, and, um, and we're able to get just enough separation. You know, light is until you go to the, to the uh, last buzzer, you know, you don't, you, you, you're worried. And right. we didn't play it right at the end. And he ended up getting the three. We, we had... Uh, uh, something else drawn up, but he's a good player and give him credit. He, he really hurt us tonight and I thought our guys played him pretty well. I mean, he made some tough shots and, and Andy Orr too. So they're real difficult matchups. So we're real proud of our effort. Coach, it's a team that's been through a lot this season and you have, you mentioned those two shots at the end, both Bird and Weebush. You'd fallen behind in the final minute and you're up by just one. How much is that, can those guys take that with them? Not just moving forward this season, but for their careers, a moment like that and what they were able to do in those final closing moments. Yeah, we got a, a thing that we've come up with here in the last uh, um, couple of weeks, um, talking about winning time in the last four minutes and things that we have to do. And, and we're seeing that. We're seeing the execution. We're seeing the uh, one stop and out. Um, you, you've got to make free throws to close uh, one and two possession games out. We, we were able to do that against Alvernia. Uh, Cliff made some good, uh, important free throws here. Uh, down the stretch. So um, it's starting to come together, and, and we just got to continue to keep our head down and keep playing. We've got we've got to have a good Saturday and, and a good Wednesday, we, and obviously we've got to practice well in between. we got to mention Cameron Hay is a 20-point night for him, and it seems like in the last couple of weeks when you've needed someone to kind of take some big shots and put, put things on his shoulders, Cameron Hayes has been the one to step up and do it. Yeah, I've been really, really hard on him, but he's going to be special. You know, he's got a um, a lot of things that he can do. He can take you off the bounce and uh, he can um, uh, get separation at the rim and elevate over the top of you. It is a difficult matchup. Uh, I'm glad he's on our side. How about that atmosphere tonight? How about that crowd? How about the band here tonight? It was a pretty fun night at Owings Mills Gymnasium. Yeah, that's college basketball. I mean, it was it was rocking and uh, all the credit to our fans and, and the band uh, creates an atmosphere unlike any in our conference and our kids uh, feed off of that. Uh, that was a, a big help. They were they were worth uh, a couple possessions for us today. Well, Coach, I know it's been a tough year. Congratulations on a big win, and best of luck moving forward this weekend. Thank you. He is Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.